The Australian invasion of NASCAR continues. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Australian invasion continues. For the fourth time in the last two years, an Australian supercars driver will be making their NASCAR debut. This time it will happen at Sonoma next month in June. Who will that driver be? Well, it will be current points leader and SVG replacement at Triple Eight Engineering, Will Brown. Will Brown, of course, raced last year at Erebus with Brody Kostecki. And speaking of Brody Kostecki, he's taking Brody's spot in the NASCAR Cup Series. Will Brown will be making his Cup Series debut at Sonoma for Richard Childers Racing in the number 33 card sponsored by Mobile X, which is Boost Mobile here stateside in America for everybody. And this whole story is an absolute convoluted mess. So let's try to break down a little bit of what's happening. So before the season started and at the end of last year, it was announced or presumed, I guess, maybe it wasn't formally announced, that Brody Kostecki would be doing multiple races for Richard Childress Racing in the Cup Series in 2024. Well, then he decided that he did not want to race for Erebus anymore, and instead he would like to go do other things. They would not let him out of his contract, then it became a health issue, and then nobody wanted to talk about it. His team owners went on television, they started crying, they said it was so hard for them. They're the most unlikable people this side of William Story from the Rich Energy Scheme, and we'll get to that in a second, because all these people are kind of the same. So they cried about it. And then Brody Kostecki, because he couldn't break his contract, decided to go back to Erebus this year. After he missed the opening rounds, he decided to go back, rejoin the team, and they had lost Will Brown in the process when he went over to Triple Eight at the end of last year. They also lost their main sponsor in Coca-Cola, and now they lost Boost Mobile, Mobile X as well. And they almost lost Kostecki, but Kostecki's back racing. And when he went back, the CEO and owner of Mobile X said that he was no longer going to support Brody Kostecki because he was going back to Erebus and he didn't want to do any business with him. The Mobile X CEO, Peter Adderton, is this guy's a character. It, the picture you see right here, he looks like a guy that's going to be on OAN hawking a five gallon bucket of survival items whenever the doomsday preppers finally get to have their day sell it for $49.99 probably you order within a certain amount of time you can get two buckets for the price of one or something completely unnecessary or he pretends to be like an FBI agent when he's traveling places the guy just looks like a, a funny character but unintentionally funny at the same time so he doesn't want to do business with Erebus. He's going to support Will Brown's efforts now in the Cup Series by the sounds of it. But he also said a few weeks ago that he wants to cancel all of Mobile X and Boost Mobile's Motorship sponsorship. He would just honor apparently existing contracts since this is still going to happen. He's also been rumored to be potentially a buyer for the fledgling Erebus team as well. This whole thing feels so much like the Haas Energy uh, Haas Rich Energy, you know, scandal that went down with William Story saying outlandish things in the press. The team being like, we don't know what's happening here, except in this situation, the team portion is being played by Brody Kostecki, who's like, I, I would really just like this all to go away at this point. Yes, like they're paying me. That's great. I don't want to be associated with this anymore whatsoever. So also, if you would like break hard merch like this t-shirt or a white version of this or the support your local short track, they are available at breakhard.store. The link will be down in the description below. Yeah, that's kind of where it stands at now. So Will Brown, who you know currently has... Uh, to his record, eight wins in the Supercar Series, finished fifth in the championship last year as Brody Kostecki's teammate, currently leading the championship now, will make his debut with Richard Childers Racing at Sonoma. To make this even more confusing, Richard Childers Racing and Erebus do have a technical partnership. Except now the Triple Eight Engineering driver is racing for RCR <laughs> with Mobile X sponsorship. It's this weird love triangle. This whole relationship is an absolute disaster going forward. So Will Brown will be in the car, which is great. I'm really excited for it. If you're a Supercars fan and you're domestic to Australia, you can't be super psyched that all of your stars are leaving to come over and try out NASCAR. One of your biggest stars, if not your biggest, Shane Van Gisbergen went ahead and bailed on the championship and came over and now is racing full-time in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, making select, Na select NASCAR Cup Series starts and will likely be a full-time cup driver next year. But earlier this year, we had Cam Waters, who has six supercar wins to his credit, came over and made his NASCAR debut in the Truck Series uh, race at Martinsville, driving for Thor Sport. He'll be back next weekend as well. No, this weekend at Kansas, uh, making his second start in the cup se or Truck Series. 
get that confused there. We also had Brody Kostecki come over last year and race at the Indianapolis Road Course, and now we're going to get Will Brown coming over as well. So if you run well on the Supercar Series, solid chance you're probably going to end up in a NASCAR Series at some point by the sounds of it. I mean, before the last two seasons, we really only ever got Marcus Ambrose. He came over and we were like, okay, Marcus is really good. It's unfortunate he never got better equipment. It sounds like Brody Kostecki will not be making any NASCAR Cup Series starts this year uh, while he finishes out his contract uh, down in Australia. His sponsor wants nothing to do with him because he went back to Erebus. Uh, it's a whole scandal situation here, like a scorned girlfriend. Everything about this whole situation is prime for a docuseries. I mean, the producers of Drive to Survive have to absolutely look at this and be like, man, do you know the kind of drama? We don't even have to create drama for it. It's just already here playing out for us. So while all this is happening, Cam Waters is out driving go-karts with SVG and Kevin Harvick's son at the GoPro Motorplex and, and outside of Charlotte. Brody Kostecki is sitting back like, I just want to get out of my contract down here in Australia uh, so I can either go to another team or head stateside and do some NASCAR stuff. Cam Waters is out living his best life, like I said. Will Brown is like, I'll go do a NASCAR race. And Shane Van Gisbergen is racing in NASCAR full time. His partner is now sending over their driver to race for RCR. And all of this is all so tied together in such a convoluted mess that I honestly wish I had a whiteboard and we can just connect the dots here. I look like Charlie Kelly when he tries to find out who Pepe Silvia is. We need to just have this huge map together. But I think that kind of sums everything up. Will Brown will be making his NASCAR Cup Series debut at Sonoma with Richard Childress Racing. Cam Waters will make his second NASCAR Truck Series start this weekend at Kansas with Thor Sport. He's also rumored to be doing a cup race later in the year, probably with RFK. We'll have to wait and see what happens there. Shane Van Gisbergen, full-time in the Xfinity Series, will be making select cup starts for the rest of the year. And Brody Kostecki, full-time, I assume, for the rest of the season, in supercars for Erebus. What happens after his contract is up remains to be seen. Will that team fold? Will they sell off? Will they continue to scare away all their sponsors? That's almost a guarantee at this point. It is fitting, though, that they kind of treat Brody Kostecki the same way Richard Childers Racing treated Tyler Reddick uh, when he announced like that he was leaving. Kind of the whole us against them mentality. If you're not with us, you're against us. Even if you're still on our team, we don't like you at this point. And kind of how Andy Petrie treated Sheldon Creed at the end of last year uh, in the Xfinity Series. So maybe the two are made for each other. Nobody does drama like the Supercar Series, but I welcome our Australian overlords if they do want to attempt to continue to get better and make the NASCAR Cup Series better. So let me know in the comments what you think about all of this drama. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.